the show where you need a great memory and super concentration skills to survive. Let's meet today's Brainiacs. Brandon is a ballroom dance champion. Let's get ready to run Kendall is a marathon hula hooper, but can she hula hoop while getting slimed? Kaylee loves building sand castles on the beach and surfing. Hope she dumped all the sand out of her shoes before she came in. Reese once swallowed a pair of diamond earrings. Talk about rich taste. Ricky can send text messages while standing on her head. It's too bad they're upside down. And Bronson has a pair of cats named Scratch and Sniff. One of you guys is going to go home with the title of Brain Surge Champion. Plus, you're going to have your chance at thousands of dollars in prizes, plus the sliming of a lifetime is going to cover you from head to toe. As for the rest of you, well, there's only one way out of here, and that is down the brain drain. I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Okay, let's get this party started. I'm going to head on over to the brain center. Level one. Hey, you guys know what giant heads are good for, right? Catching slime. Now, who wants to get slime? Yeah! Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Arms raised. This first level is full of visual puzzles that are going to test your ability to see things quickly. You're going to use that special game pod in front of you to lock in your answers. At the end of this level, the four of you with the most points are going to advance to level two. What do you say we kick this off with a 10 point puzzle? Remember, pay close attention to these instructions. I'm about to drop some paint balloons on some people's heads. Keep track of the order of the colors I drop. Hey! What color was the second balloon I dropped? Kaylee, what are you laughing at? I'm so excited. I'm having so much fun. Okay, good. That's a good answer. I like that. Let's see what the correct answer was. Yeah. The correct answer was one. Let's see who got it right. Kendall, Brandon, Kaylee, and Ricky, congratulations. Ten points. I am ready for a 20-point puzzle. Are you? Very nice. Here it comes. There are numbers on the other side of these weights. I'm gonna lift them three times. Type in the numbers as they appear from left to right. Which numbers were on the weights? Let's see what the correct answer is. Seven, eight, seven, three. Let's see who got it right. Points. All right, Reese, you still need to get on the board, and I have a feeling you're going to get on the board right here with this 30-point puzzle. Take a look. I'm about to show off the latest in swimwear. Pay attention to each swimsuit I model. I call this one the first one. The ladies love the second one. Oh, did I mention that this is the third one? And finally, the fourth one. Which of these swimsuits was I not wearing before? Let's see what the correct answer is. Oh, there it is. And guess what, Reese? Who called it, Reese? Who called it? Who said you were going to get this one right? Yeah. That's right, this guy. 30 points for everybody. Let's take a look at the scores. Ricky and Kaylee are leading the way with 60 points in third place. Bronson's holding it down with 50. Brandon and Kendall, 40. And Reese getting on the board with 30. Nice job. We got a game on our hands. And this puzzle right here is worth 40 points. And here it comes. These snowboarders are about to race down a serious mogul course. Count how many jumps each of them does. And Kelly's the winner. But how many jumps did she do? Let's see what the correct answer is. 
There she is in the middle in a replay. She gets out to a quick lead, takes that first jump, airs over the second jump. She's working a three-man weave there. Gets the fourth one, and guess what? Not only does she win, she caught air four times. Let's see who got it right. Brandon, Kendall, Reese, and Bronson, congratulations. That's 40 points. Well played. This puzzle is worth 50 points. Have a look. Check out these four phones. Pay attention to which phone has which ringtone. Now, check out this ringtone. Which phone does it belong to? Let's see what the correct answer is. Oh boy, it was cell phone one. Who's gonna get 50 points? Let's find out. Everybody but Reese is getting 50 points. It is a really close game, and we are down to our last puzzle for this level. After this, the four of you with the most points are going to advance to the next level, and the other two, well, you're going down the brain drain. This puzzle is worth 100 points, so it's anybody's game. Here it is. I tried to sleep last night, but there was something keeping me awake. What? There's monsters under my bed? Keep track of each pair of eyes and count how many monsters there were. How many monsters were underneath my bed? Let's see what the correct answer is. Seven! Who got it right? Kendall's the only one that got it right. Kendall, that's 100 points from me to you. Now, this is the moment of truth. It's where we find out which four of you are moving on to level two, and which two of you are going down the brain drain. In first place with 230 points is Kendall. In second place with 140 points is Bronson. In third place with 130 points is Brandon. This is the moment of truth. There are only three players left and only one more slot. And we have a tie for fourth place with 110 points each. However, it was the person who got their answers in the quickest. And that person is Kaylee. Congratulations, you're moving on to level two. Which means Ricky and Reese, you guys are heading down the brain drain. But before you do that, let's find out what you've won. Congratulations, you've won a SpongeBob Wii game. SpongeBob SquarePants featuring Nicktoons Globs of Doom with 10 playable Nickelodeon characters. Play as both heroes and villains while defeating the Morphoids. All that in a bucket of slime. There's only one way out of here, and it is down the brain drain. Ricky, Reese, come on down. to this level. Let's get to know you guys a little better. We're gonna start all the way down there with Kendall. How you doing? I'm doing good. So you're a marathon <laughs> hula hooper. Does that mean you run marathons and hula hoop at the same time? No. Um, I won a contest for hula hooping for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes, okay. Very good. <laughs> Bronson, uh, you play five instruments. Which ones? Yeah, I do. I play guitar, trumpet, uh, the bass guitar, drums, and the keyboard. Brandon, how long have you been uh, ballroom dancing? About four years now. Four years. What's your favorite kind of dancing to do? Latin, cha-cha, samba, all this. Kaylee! Your friends call you the peacemaker? Yeah. Explain that. <laughs> well, they always, like, fight about the smallest stuff, and I'm always, like, stuck in the middle, so I'm always the one that's, like, 
working them together and getting them back. Very nice. All right. Enough chit chat. You guys ready to play? Yeah. Let's do it. Level two. On this level, I'm going to tell you a story from Jeff's big book of super fantastic true chronicles of truth that are absolutely true. Are you guys ready? Good. Let's stand up. It's story time. Now, you're going to want to listen and pay close attention to the story I read you because when we're done, I'm going to ask you some questions about it. Everything that I read out of this book of truth is absolutely true. I have no reason to lie. You wouldn't believe the trouble I had getting here today. My car broke down as soon as I pulled out of the driveway, so I borrowed my neighbor's motorcycle, popped a wheelie, and I was on my way. Unfortunately, I ran out of gas a mile later, so I hailed a taxi cab and told the guy, take me to Brain Surge. Then I nodded off. I guess he thought I said Branson because when I awoke, I was halfway to Missouri. I hitched a ride on a tractor, then rented a horse and buggy. Crossing the desert was a real treat. I rode a mobility scooter and a unicycle and even a tricycle. I eventually traded the trike in for a jetpack because, come on, that's how I roll. The jet ski got me across the Colorado River to the Vegas airport. I asked for the next shuttle to Los Angeles, but somehow I ended up in the next space shuttle. After landing in Florida, I took a rowboat out to a submarine and hitched a ride to Texas, courtesy the US Navy. Then I made my way home using a combination of rickshaw and stilts. Great for height, not for speed. And a hovercraft, which is great for lakes, but not for highways. Cross-country skis, and a dog sled. These are my new BFFs, by the way. Always a believer in making a splashy entrance, I took a blimp into Hollywood and shared a tandem skydive with my friend into the studio lot. And thanks to prevailing winds and some time zone changes, I made it here just in time. That's my story, guys, and it's all true. One at a time, I'm gonna ask you guys to name some modes of transportation that you just saw on the screen. To lock in your answers, you're gonna sit down. If you hear this, that means you're right. And if you're wrong, Bronson, would you please demonstrate by sitting? Not the place for it, buddy, but that's what you'll hear. You're gonna wanna hang on and go for the ride. All right, back on your feet. We're gonna keep doing that until we're down to two players. Kendall, let's start with you. Go ahead. Um, a tractor. Tractor. Have a seat. Ding means right. Stand back up. Bronson, how about it? A hovercraft. A hovercraft. Let's find out. There you go. Brandon. Stilts. Stilts. Not the easiest, but I did it. Bailey. Rowboat. Rowboat? Yes. Have a seat. Let's find out. There it is. Everyone's still in. Over to you, Kendall. Cross-country skis. Cross-country skis. Go ahead, Bronson. Uh, what is a space shuttle? What is a space shuttle? It's something that flies with jets. There you go. Brandon. A motorcycle. A motorcycle. Okay, the pressure's on. Jetpack. Jetpack. Because that's how I roll. Kendall. I was running out. Skydive? Skydive. You got it. Bronson. Tricycle? Tricycle. And why not, right? Why not? Brandon. Horse and buggy. Horse and buggy. That's right. Unicycle. Kaylee's going with a unicycle, and I'll take it. Kendall. Pressure's on. Gonna need an answer. Time is running out. Anything. Throw it out there. Oh, Kendall, have a seat. And hang on. Guys, don't worry. She's going to be fine. She's a good kid. She'll be fine. Bronson, go ahead. A taxi? A taxi. Who could forget the taxi ride? Brandon. A submarine. Submarine. All right. Kaylee, how about it? A rowboat? A rowboat. Have a seat. Let's find out. Kaylee already said rowboat. Hang on. Only one rowboat. Oh. Congratulations, Bronson and Brandon. It's time for a knockout round. Knockout round. Behind those numbers are pairs of images from the story you just heard. Match a pair correctly, you stay in the game. You're going to have 10 seconds to memorize that board, and that 10 seconds starts right now.
time's up. 10 seconds goes by awfully fast around here. You guys ready? All right. Bronson, how about your first number? Um, nine and... Nine is your first number. Okay. Oh, handsome. Second number? Fifteen. And fifteen. There you go. It's a match. You're still in it. And the pressure is on Brandon. Give me your first number. Seven. Seven. I can do that for you. Okay. And 16. And 16. Oh, okay. Here's the situation we're in, guys. It's called sudden death territory. The next correct answer is moving on. Pick wisely, Bronson. Four. Four is the first number. And 10. And 10. Oh, okay. Brandon still has a chance. We're still in sudden death. Pick your first number. Three. Three. And 16. And 16. Oh, congratulations, Brandon. You have been a ring shirt champion. Well done. Bronson, you know what that means. Have a seat and hang on. Brandon, awesome job. You are moving on to the final stage for a chance at thousands of dollars in prizes, plus that sliming that I promised you. Let's see what Kendall, Kaylee, and Bronson won for making it this far. Congratulations, you've won a Pulse scooter. The Pulse Kick and Go Accelerator scooter uses a unique self-propulsion pedal that powers your ride while maintaining balance and speed. From Pulse. There's only one way out of here, and it is down the bridge. Peacemaker is out of here. All right, Bronson, have at it. See you later, buddy. When we come back, we'll see if Brandon can find the path to victory on level three. Don't go anywhere. Ah. Welcome back to Brain Search. I am Jeff, and this guy here keeping it loose, you can call him Brandon. He has cleared the first two levels. How are you feeling about that? Good, it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. It was I had fun. a good time, you had a good time, and now we're here in the final stage where you could win thousands of dollars in prizes, plus a sliming you'll never forget. Level three, the final stage. Okay, Brandon, this level has three parts. Each one's more difficult than the last. It's your job to memorize the light pattern that appears on the floor and then recreate it by stepping on the right squares. For example, if you step on the right square, it's gonna look like that. However, if you step on the wrong square, that happens and you're gonna have to come back here and start all over. Now, once you complete the first path, you're gonna stop the clock by stepping on that button right up there. Then the floor will expand to a five by five grid where the second path will be revealed. Complete that path and you're gonna be faced with the hardest path of them all. I like to call it the six by six grid. Here's what you could win. Complete the 4x4 four four and win an electric guitar. The Behringer Medallion Electric Guitar. Record, play live with app effects, or play along to MP3s with USB connections straight into your computer. From Behringer. Complete the 5x5 five five and win a Diamondback bike. The new Diamondback Outlook and Lester One. These one speed sport recreational mountain bikes handle both trails and pavement. From Diamondback. Complete the 6x6 six six and win a Baja Mexico Cruise. Offering many activities and fine dining on board for the entire family. Carnival Cruise Line. All right, you ready for this? I am. Let's put 90 seconds on the board. Here you go. Why don't you toss it up there? That's what we call the 90 second toss right there. Brandon, here's your first path. Take a look. All right, you're going to see it twice. The clock will start when you make your first step. Good luck, buddy. He is off. Looking very confident. Smooth operator. Smooth operator. Yeah, Brandon, nice job. Six seconds, you just got yourself a guitar, and oh, what's this? It's the five by five. Here is your second path. Take a look. All right, here it is one last time. And again, the clock's gonna start when you make your first step. Good luck. Brandon playing it loose and fast, just like he did. Oh, come on back. Here we 
go. Tracing it with his finger. He's dialed in now. Look at him. He's just like smooth. It's just like he's not even taking steps. He's gliding. Stop the clock! Stop the clock! Yeah, dude! Guess who got himself a bike? Doubles down low. Well done. And here it is. As promised, the six by six. It's magnificent, isn't it? Yes. It is absolutely it is. magnificent. This is the hardest puzzle of them all. Take a look at this. All right. This is your second one. There it is. You got 65 seconds. It's going to start when you make your step. Good luck. Oh, no. Quick. Come on back. Take a look. All right. He sees, he sees where he went wrong. Quick on his feet. He glides. He's a smooth operator. Still got plenty of time again. 45 seconds left. Tiger. Just nice move. Aggressive steps. Making a go of it. He's close. Oh, no, no, no. He was so close. You were one square away. But you got 25 seconds and you know where you went wrong. Oh, this is nice. He's doing so well. He's got it. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Oh, quick, 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 quick. You got four seconds. Three, two, go. He's quick. Time. Oh, man. Your time has run out, but you know what? I'm excited for you. You got yourself a guitar. You got yourself mm -hmm. a mic. And you know that there's only one way out of here. And it's down the brain drain. Why don't you head over there? I'll meet you there. Thanks for watching. That's all the time we have. Tune in next time when we have six new Brainiacs go head to head to head to head to head on Brain Search. Thanks for watching Mayfield, New York. Woo! Boy and Chum Chum spring into action in a whole week of brand new butt kicking adventures. You expecting someone? They'll battle a body bubble and gear up for a getaway. Oh dear, you work the pedals. In a week that's not to be missed. Hey, you got my cool. So don't miss a brand new Fanboy and Chum Chum, followed by a brand new brain surge five days in a row. Continues tomorrow at four. Part of Spring It On, only on.